This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purpose only. So hello guys welcome back to another video of our channel and in this video we will be taking a look on a tool which is very efficient for finding subdomains and I have seen that in multiple cases it uses a lot of APIs, a lot of other services to find subdomains and it is very efficient in many cases. So let's take a look on this tool. But before going to the video, I have something to announce here. We are having two batches, Advanced Bug Bounty Batch 3. The registrations are closed for this and we are having the batch full. And also we are having another batch, the Bug Bounty Batch 11. For We are having the, a very big discount on this particular batch. We are having 50% off on this batch. So you can guess this code for around just 999 INR. And also we are having a lot of important information in it. So you can check out all the contents here. So that is the content you will be learning from very scratch to the most advanced methods here and we are having a lot of recorded courses as you guys can see all the recorded courses here. Rather than these recorded courses you can check out all the free resources in the description and let's get into the video. So here we are on our computer screen now so first of all we need to understand what's the tool. So we are going to use a tool named Bbot uh, by Black Lantern Security as you guys can see here. This is the GitHub link I will mention the link in the description so make sure to check it out. Now, in this particular tool, it is also known as BWBOT and its full form is Big Huge BLS OSINT tool. So, Big Huge Black Lantern Security Open Source Intelligence Tool. It's a big name. So, in short, you can name it as BBOT. Now, the next thing we need to take a look is very simple. You need to understand how to install this tool. So, for installation of this tool, you need to use PIPX, a Python thing, right? You all guys know that. And its prerequisites are very simple. Linux, Windows, and Mac are also supported. In some cases, they are not supported. Like as you guys can see that they are not supported. So in that particular case, you need to have some sort of WSL and all those things. But in my Mac OS, I have to I like change few configurations, and yeah, I am able to use this thing. And Python 3.9 or newer. So this is the basic command to install it. If you are not having pipx or pipx, you can simply install it using apt install pipx. And for Mac, you can simply use blue install pipx. Now, if you're having few issues, then you can use this thing tool pipx, right? So, after it, this is the basic usage of it. But one more thing if you're having any installation and other issues, then you should check the documentation. We are going to check the documentation here for a few things. So, this is the installation guide. But we also got few more things. We need to configure the API keys in the config.yml. So if I just show you cd.config bbot Now we've got a secrets.yml file here And as you guys can see that uh, we need to mention a lot of API keys here As you guys can see that I am having my virus total API key and Shodan DNS API key here So you need to manage all the API keys here You need to set all your API keys here So you will get a better output And it is usually getting like having a will take a lot of time to hunt right so before doing anything let's take a look on how this thing works so let me just go to my home directory so i have made a folder here it's completely empty as you guys can see this now let's just take a look on the help menu bbot hyphen h as you guys know hyphen h is used for help menu now this tool is not limited to finding subdomains. This can do a lot of more things. Like take a look here. If you guys can see this thing, the module. So modules are enabled to choices. Like you are not having the limited choice of using subdomains. You can try to do uh, cloud enumeration. You can do email enumeration, right? You can also do the service enumeration, social enumeration, hijacks, and all those things. So. You get a lot of things in it and the one of the most important thing web screenshot so if you guys have seen the visual recon video then in that video we have seen why the web screenshot is helpful for us right you can learn a lot of things using web screenshot now we want one more thing the flags right I, this is the rf required flags let's take a look on the hyphen f which is flags and this is one of the most important thing if you just take a look on these examples 
you will see that hyphen f so you want to do subdomain enumeration email enumeration cloud enumeration web basic enumeration and this particular module so hyphen m is used for modules as we have seen just now right hyphen m is used for modules so we are using the modules and map go witness for web screenshot and map for port scanning nuclear for other things and iphone iphone allow deadly is allowing the deadly scan like i can say that aggressive one as you guys can see that double iphone aggressive is allowing a uh, highly aggressive modules like the nuclei or maybe web screenshot or the go witness right so let's just clear the terminal so let's give a target so we are going to choose some sort of target like let's say um smaller target or not that much that big target so iphone till let's take a tesla.com i don't think it's going to take lesser time it will take a lot of time around like one hour i don't know i don't know so let's say hyphen t for tesla then let's try to find some sort of um, basic enumeration so we just want only subdomains right we want only subdomains so we will just use the hyphen f subdomain enumeration so let me just add this thing okay okay sorry hyphen f subdomain enumeration thing hyphen f and let's hit enter and wait for it to give me an output as you guys can see that it is asking me for my password so let me just give my password here and it will install the following os packages and then we'll be having a lot of things we just need to wait so let's skip this part and see you guys in the next part one hour later so here we have got the specific output in around one hour two minutes and all those things our outputs are saved at this location at this location so we need to take a look on them as you guys can see that collection of information so let's take a look on it so we have a lot of sources of outputs maybe in csp and all those fonts so let me just take a look here as you guys can see that we're having a csp output as this location got some sort of dot human outputs yeah you can also name is a dot txt dot json output so it's on a folder named this satanic jennifer so it is usually changed according to multiple factors let me just go to this location okay so here we are having few files as mentioned in the terminal so as you guys can see that if i just type on cat subdomains or txt i have got around 159 subdomains of our target now we got cat worldcloud.tsv then we got all the other data right let's change it to cat output dot txt so you can see this is a complete output file for these things type is and scopes right title is 0 to it is having a lot of information than any other tool available on the internet you can just see this the ASN and all those things ASN numbers the location all those things everything is mentioned in very detail so if you're already into bug hunting if you know about bug hunting then you know that this information can be very very helpful right let's just change it let's just open the output.csv you guys can see this thing a whole csv file you can also try to open the file manually if it's openable right we just we just need to down, uh, found the location and we can access it now that was the tool okay we are aware of that this is the tool how it works all those things but it doesn't just it doesn't just say this thing you need to do a lot of things in it like suppose this is the tool basically this is the tool that we are going to use it in the subdomain finding and all this stuff but this, this tool is doing much more things than the actually subdomain finding tool any other subdomain finding tool it is giving you more precise detail it is giving you more precise results on multiple targets using the ASN numbers, using a lot of other important data. So that was the main usage of this tool. I would really like you to check out the links in the description about this tool so you can get a better idea about this tool. And that was for the video. Thanks for watching. So that was for the video. Thanks for watching. Check out all the links and courses in the description and see you guys in the next video.